a ladder AB has mass M and length 6A. The end A of the ladder is on a rough, so friction, horizontal ground. The ladder rests against a fixed, smooth, so no friction, horizontal rail at C. C is a vertical height, 4A, above the ground. The vertical plane containing AB is perpendicular to the rail. The ladder is inclined to the horizontal at angle alpha, where sine alpha is four fifths. The coefficient of, fric of friction between the ladder and the ground is mu. The ladder is in limiting equilibrium and the ladder is modeled as a uniform, so the mass down the center, rod. So let's draw all of these bits onto the diagram. So we have a rough ground with friction mu. So stopping the ladder from sliding, so it would be sliding that way. So opposing the motion will be mu times r, the maximum friction. We're going to have a normal reaction at A, which is perpendicular to the ground, the reaction at A, and a reaction at C, which is perpendicular to the rod. So the reaction at C. The mass of the rod is going to be straight down the middle, so vertically down, and the the weight even, so it's mass times gravity, mg. Then we've got this angle alpha. Let's try and work out where we've got this angle alpha. So if we have, if we think of a line perpendicular to the rod, alpha will be in there. And where is alpha for this? RC. So this angle is 90 minus alpha. This one's alpha. 90 minus alpha, alpha. So this one is alpha in there. They are all of our forces. So let's see what we've got to work out. And we've also got this sine alpha is four fifths. Let's deal with that now. So sine alpha is four fifths. So if we've got a right angle triangle with an angle alpha in it, sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the opposite over the hypotenuse. It's a three, four, five triangle, which means the adjacent is also the adjacent is 3. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. And we can also use this because we've got 4a here. So it's going to be 3a. This distance will be 3a. And 3, 4, 5. This distance will be 5 a and we've got a distance of 3a between the center of mass and a the center of the rod where the weight acts it's a uniform rod so the weight is acting down the middle so it's 6a long so it must be 3a on both sides so using the model show that the magnitude of the force exerted on the ladder by the rail at C, so the normal reaction at C is 9 mg over 25. So in these questions, we can either take moments about any of the points. So we could take moments about A or C or the center, and then it'll be clockwise moments equal anti-clockwise moments, or we could use forces up equal forces down and forces left equal forces right.
for this one we want to get rid of the reaction A and friction. To do that we'll take moments about A. So if we take moments about A, that's clockwise moments equal anti-clockwise moments. And for each it's the distance times the perpendicular force. So clockwise we have 3A is the distance and perpendicular is mg cos alpha. Anticlockwise, we have 5A times the reaction at C. Cos alpha, so cos alpha, that's the adjacent over the hypotenuse, that is three fifths. So we have 3a times mg times three fifths equals 5a times the reaction at C. So divide both sides by a, that goes three threes are nine. So we've got nine fifths mg is equal time to five times the reaction at C and divide both sides by five. Nine over 25 mg is the reaction at C. And that is what we wanted. Hence or otherwise, find the value of mu. So now we know the reaction at C. We're going to need to find the normal reaction at A. So we'll do forces up equal forces down. And then we'll be able to do forces left equal forces right to find mu. So let's do forces up equal forces down. So what's going straight up? We have reaction at C, cos alpha. And reaction at C is what we worked out for the last question. And we have the reaction at A. Going down, we have Mg. So we have 925 mg for reaction at C times cos alpha, which was 3 fifths, plus the reaction at A equals mg. So 925 times 3 fifths will be 27 over 125 mg plus the reaction at A equals mg. So we've got 1 mg to get reaction at A by itself. We've got 1 mg take away 27 over 125. We can of course use the calculator. So 1 take away 27 over 125 will be 98 over 125 lots of mg, 98. And now we can do forces left equal forces right. So what's acting to the left? We have the reaction at C sine alpha. And forces right is mu times the reaction at A. So the reaction at C was 925 mg 
times sine alpha, which was four fifths, equals mu times the reaction at A, which was 98 over 125 mg. So let's divide both sides by mg. Let's get rid of that. And then we can, let's multiply these together first. So nine times four is 36. 25 times five is 125. So 36 over 125 is 98 over 125 times mu times both sides by 125. I then divide by 98. So we get 36 over 98 is mu. Or we could half them both. 18 over 49 is mu.